This is the world's hardest maze, and I'm gonna solve it. It's bigger than every other maze in the real world, and it's even bigger than the world's largest hand-drawn maze. And today, I'm gonna use my dumb computer to solve it. I will be using some of the best maze-solving algorithms out there, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna do the final race to find out which of them is the best. But first, we need to build the actual maze. Now, for my maze to be the hardest in the world, it needs to be more difficult than all these other mazes. And so far, drumroll please, I have this 40 by 40 grid. Coding is hard, man. And turns out that after reading the Wikipedia page for what I wanna do, I have to be able to control each of these squares, so I have to redo everything, and now my grid looks like this. Shit. Two hours later. Okay, I have a grid now, let's go. Now, I just have to implement this very easy algorithm. I just have to make the initial cell the current, well, the and if the current if cell the current has no visited the neighbors, the neighbors then well, they are eight hours later. I wanna die. Good news though, it's done now. I used to randomize dev first search recursive backtracker, which sounds really freaking fancy, but it's actually really simple. And I'm going to explain it now. But green code, I don't like it when you explain boring stuff. So we have this grid of cells that are marked as not visited. Then we have this little white dot that goes around randomly and it creates a path of the maze. But as you might expect, sometimes it gets trapped. Oh no, that's horrible. horrible. Which means that there are no new cells around them. So it goes back the way it came until it finds cells that are not part of the maze yet. And it does this until it completes the whole maze. I also implemented other maze solving algorithms like Brim's algorithm, which looks like this. It produces more turns and I really like how it looks visually. I also coded my all-time favorite maze generation algorithm, Wilson's algorithm. It randomly creates a path from the starting point and it keeps going until it's connected to the maze itself. And if it bumps into itself, it just deletes the path until that cell. It looks like this. It's not really practical for large mazes since it can just endlessly get lost and end up not finding the maze, but it's really freaking cool to look at. Alright, so far I have set my algorithms to 40 by 40 cells, but I wonder what happens if I just add more zeros. Oh wait guys, what's happening? Is this thing on? Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best, the largest, the biggest, the world's largest maze. This maze has 21 million cells, which means it's close to 5,000 rows and columns. I literally couldn't do it any bigger because my computer doesn't have enough RAM to hold a maze this big. The file alone I used to store this maze weighs one freaking gigabyte. Just look at what happens when I try to print every single cell on my terminal. It just goes on. I did the calculations and if each cell were 10 feet by 10 feet, it would be twice the size of the entire land area of Paris. And remember, at the end of this video, I'm going to do the final race where different algorithms are going to try to solve it. Now, before I actually use my computer to solve this maze, I want to make sure the maze is actually hard. So I generated a maze that is 2000 times smaller than the final maze to see how far along I can get in 10 to 20 minutes by myself. Three, two, one, go. This seems promising. Okay, that's a dead end. Go this way. Ooh, how far along are we? Oh God. Stuff is happening. Oh, we're, we're actually pretty close. Oh, well, that is dead, so we have to go back. Does this maze even have a solution? Oh, 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 we missed something here. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 I just found something. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. Wow, that took way too long. It took 12 minutes and 44 seconds to be exact. So yeah, I can confirm that the maze is hard. But now it's time to use my computer and my maze solving algorithms to solve this maze. Let's meet the contestants. First, I have the dumbest maze solving algorithm out there, which is called the random mouse algorithm. It works by just choosing a random direction at each intersection until it eventually reaches the exit. Like it's like it's really dumb, like it but it, but it actually works. Wait, slow down? Enhance? Okay, it's definitely teleporting through the walls. Let me fix that. Two very boring minutes later. 
Okay, it's fixed now. As I was saying, this doesn't really work for large or complicated mazes, as it will just take forever. Let's move on to something more clever. It's called the right hand side algorithm. It solves mazes by following the right wall constantly and navigating through the maze by always keeping its right hand in contact with the wall until it reaches the exit. Turns out that's kind of the best thing you could do if you ever find yourself in a dark maze without a solution, and it actually works quite well. It also has a twin brother called the left hand side algorithm which does the same but follows the left wall. Then we have my favorite maze solving algorithm, the dead end filling algorithm. It works by basically just filling out dead ends until the only possible solution is revealed. And it might not be the most effective since it has to go through virtually every single cell in the maze, but it's my favorite because it just looks so freaking cool. Just look at that, it's, it's so cool. Okay, now we move on to the big boys, Dijkstra and A star. I won't go in depth into how these two algorithms work, so here are the definitions ChatGPT gave me. The Dijkstra algorithm finds the shortest path through a maze by iteratively selecting the next node with the smallest cumulative distance from the start. The A asterisk algorithm navigates through a maze by considering both the cost to reach each node and an estimate of the remaining distance to the goal, selecting the most promising path. Okay, I hope you understood that. All you gotta know is that they're by far the most optimized algorithms and it's actually what Google Maps uses to compute the fastest route between two points. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's put him in to action. We'll do three races, starting with a small maze, then a medium maze, and then the final race. Okay, three, two, one, race. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Wallflower is on the lead, it's getting close to the end, then it's finished. Dead end fielding seems to be in second place and it finds a solution. Acer also found the solution and Dijkstra finishes in last place. It took wall follower 0.00027796 seconds to solve this maze, while the other algorithms took longer. However, bear in mind that I also tested the right wall follower and it was way slower. This shows that wall follower might not always be that reliable. Okay, let's test this in a larger maze before trying it on the final race. 3, 2, 1, race! It looks like Wallflower is off to a strong start. I don't know why it skipped that whole section over there, but it seems to be doing okay. And wow, oh wow, look at A-Star just taking this race by storm and it's gonna finish in first place. Wallflower comes in a close second, Dead End Filling seems to be closing on its final path and Dijkstra again finishes last. Wow, what a race. A-Star beat the sh out of everyone else. Not only that, but A-Star actually gives you the most optimized solution, unlike Wall Follower, which gives you this sh and now for the moment we have all been waiting for, the race of all races. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the final race. All the algorithms will face the hardest maze in the world, which has 21 million squares. It's so big, in fact, that I literally can't visually show you the actual race, because it would just look like a big green square and it would destroy my computer. But I'll tell you how long each algorithm took. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, wall follower is running. And while this is running, I want to quickly talk to you about Patreon. It's the best way you can support me, and all the code I used in this video and all of the videos is right there. So if you want to play around with generating and solving mazes and a bunch of other cool stuff, you can sign up. There's different tiers and I think you might like what's there. Back to the final race. All right, looks like wall follower took a whopping 61.53 seconds. And this is the solution it gave me. As you can see, in classic wall follower style, it went on the right side until it found the solution. It created these really cool patterns in the maze. And I also ran wall follower left and it took him 63.17 seconds to complete it. Not bad, honestly. Let's try dead end filling. Let's run it. Okay, it took 467.59 seconds, which is 7 minutes and 47 seconds. And although it wasn't as fast as Wall Follower, it gave me the most optimized solution to the world's hardest maze. Are you ready? This is a solution of the world's hardest maze. It's honestly surprising how an algorithm as simple as dead end feeling can actually do this. I mean, just look at these patterns and turns. And if we zoom in, we can actually observe that this is the path of the solution and not some random scribble. Let's try Dijkstra. Many, many minutes later. Okay, this shit's not working. <laughs> I tested Dijkstra and realized that my current implementation only works for medium to small mazes, like this one. Finally, let's try A star. Okay, it took 284.65 seconds, which is not that bad, it's the second fastest time. 
And although it wasn't as fast as Wallflower, it gave me the most optimized solution in the least time. And for this reason, and because it's also one of my favorites, I officially declare A-Star as the winner of the final race. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.